Hey everybody, this is Merida. Just wanted to share with you guys um, about this summer and our theme for our summer dance classes. We are so excited about being able to dive in to God's Word and also to be able to help students grow in their dancing abilities and skills this summer. We are going to be looking at the book of Galatians chapter 5 where it talks about the fruits of the Spirit. That might be a pretty familiar passage for a lot of you guys, um, but we want to kind of tear it apart and look a little bit closer at the second half of the fruit of the Spirit passage. I want to read it to you first. So I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the flesh desires what is contrary to the Spirit, and the Spirit what is contrary to the flesh. They are in conflict with each other, so that you do not do whatever you want. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. The acts of the flesh are obvious, sexual immorality, impurity, debauchery, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambitions, and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking and envying each other. So for the summer, what we're going to do is divide that passage into two sections. The first section where it lists the fruits of the Spirit, we're going to focus on that with our younger children from ages 2 up to 5th grade. Each week we'll go over the fruits of the Spirit, help them memorize it and hide God's Word in their heart. And then for each class, we'll be able to focus on a particular fruit of the Spirit. For example, the fifth and sixth grade will be focusing on the fruit of the Spirit, goodness. So we'll talk about what that means and how to compare that to maybe what the world's definition of goodness is compared to what does God's Word say is goodness. The second half of Galatians in that passage is talking about since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. What does that mean to keep in step with the Spirit? How do we do that? I want to back up first and, and just make sure we all understand that this passage was written to believers. So the first thing that's important to understand is that a personal relationship with Jesus is what enables you to even produce any of that fruit. Putting your faith and trust in Him and the work of the cross in His death and resurrection. And when His Spirit lives inside of you, then you'll be able to produce that fruit. We do see in people, maybe that don't profess to know Jesus, they may have some of these qualities. Um, the world may refer to them as character qualities or traits, which are great things, but there is a big difference between fruits of the Spirit and character qualities. So we're gonna talk about that. For me, when I think about the fruits of the Spirit um, and what God has taught me, the fruit of the Spirit is something that only can be produced through the work of His Spirit that then returns glory back to Him. A lot of times whenever we're focused on character qualities apart from Christ, the focus of glory goes to ourselves. We want to receive credit for being kind, or we want to receive credit for saying no to something that we shouldn't have. But whenever Jesus' Spirit enables us to make those right choices and works through us, He is the one that gets glory for it because our purpose and motivation behind even having these fruits is for Him. And so we want to focus on that with the younger children. The second half of that passage talks about how since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. What does that mean to keep in step with the Spirit? We hear that phrase, um, we've heard it since we were little, and so what I want us to look at this summer with my older students is what does that mean for me on a day-to-day -day basis? If you go back to the beginning of that passage in Galatians 5, it actually gives a contrast to some of the fruits of the Spirit. Anger, jealousy, sexual immorality and impurity witchcraft, hatred. When we look at those and compare those to the fruits of the Spirit, we see a, a very vast difference. We may not struggle with witchcraft, but anger, fits of rage, jealousy, those are things that the Scripture says that um, are very contrary to the fruits of the Spirit. So whenever those temptations, and they will come about, whenever those temptations arise, how do we deal with that? What enables us to get through that and to honor the Lord through our behavior and through our actions? The scripture at the bottom again, right before it talks about keeping in step with the Spirit, it says, since we've crucified our flesh and desires. 
In the book of Galatians in chapter 2, I believe, 2.20, it says, For I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. So daily, when I wake up, daily, Meredith has to say, Jesus, I take off the old me. I take off my flesh and I put on the righteousness of Christ. You have crucified my sin. You have crucified my evil desires. And so today I want your spirit to um, satisfy me and to enable me to respond the right way, to walk in the way that you would want me to walk. I think one of the things that I'm most passionate about this summer that I have before ever been before is the desire to see these students, these dancers, go deeper in their walk with the Lord. Of course, dance is always important, and I'm excited about helping them hone in on their craft. But as I get older, I want to, I know my time's limited physically, <laughs> um, but I want to be able to, to point them to Jesus in such a strong way. And so it excites me to focus on the fruits of the Spirit. It excites me to look at John chapter 15, which we'll talk about as well, and also Psalm 1, but to help them understand on a day-to-day -day basis, what does it mean to keep in step with the Spirit? So we are so excited about this summer and all that God's gonna be doing. I do wanna encourage you parents that have younger children that may not be able to log on and see these videos on Facebook or email, um, that you would watch them and that you would talk with your children about the fruits of the Spirit. As they come home each week, ask them what they've learned about, ask them what fruit of the Spirit they're focusing on. I hope that this will be an opportunity for the family to grow together in their walk with the Lord. And also for the teenagers, ask your teenager, what are you doing in class? What are you talking about? Um, what are some things that you've shared with one another? It is a privilege to be able to be with your child each week and certainly don't take that lightly. So thank you for allowing me to be a part of their life. And the most important thing that I wanna do, that Cross Movement wants to do, is to point them to Jesus and to bring Him the most glory that we can. See you soon.